Hey, what's up? It's your old pal, Mr. Cook. We just made a really cool unit circle and went through some of those unit circle problems. Let's go ahead and take a look at these next six problems going from number 27 through number 32. So this, uh, we have to solve equations. And these are pretty easy um, if you just know how to read them. It's saying, what this is saying is that we got to figure out angles uh, in a unit circle. So that's what that means. They give us a sine equal to this, square negative square root of 2 over 2. So what I would do is I'd go over to my unit circle and I'd find all of the uh, places where sine is equal to negative square root of two over two. So, um, you know, let's see, uh, sine is always going to be the Y value. And when I have a negative square root of two over two, that'd be like right here uh, at uh, 225 degrees. So that's one of my answers, 225 degrees, according to my unit circle. And then I have another place where that happens. And the sine is negative square root of two over two over here when uh, the angle measurement is 315 degrees. So there's two places on the unit circle where I get that, that angle measurement. Uh, let's do some other easy ones. A lot, a lot of tangents in here. Let's, let's focus on the sines for now and then we'll do the tangents afterwards. So this one says, uh, number 31 says, find the angles that have a sine equal to negative a half, okay, on the unit circle. So let's see here, sine negative a half. There's one right there. So that'd be 210 degrees. So 210, oops, theta. Oh, I should also say that's equal to theta. So theta equals 210 degrees. Let's see another place where sine is negative a half. So sine is negative a half over here also at 330 degrees. So 330 degrees. So there are two answers where that happens. All right, let's see about this one. This is another sign This says, Find me the angles that have a sine equal to the square root of two, negative square root of two over two. Well, there aren't any on here that just have square root of two over two, are there? So um, I'd, I'd probably like figure out what that number is, negative square root of two over two, or negative square root of two on my calculator. Let's see what, what that is, okay? So uh, I think this might be a, a trick question, possibly, because I think that's more than one. So negative square root of two, yeah, that's more than negative one. So this is like negative 1.4 something or another. Okay. Um, and the problem with that is that sine is only between um, one and negative one. So if it's down to negative 1.4, that's outside of its boundary. So there's no angle that's like that. So, uh, so that, that angle does not exist. Yeah, that's a trick question. That's pretty messed up. There you go, DNE does not exist. Now for the tangents, gosh, I didn't know that they asked you to do the tangents on the unit circle. I didn't put those up here, um, but there's like a pattern for the tangents as well. Let's see, is there another color I can use? I can use black on this one. So the tangents are always found by doing sine over cosine. So um, if I take sine over cosine for all these angles, like all of these ordered pairs, so I take the Y value over the X value, I get the following numbers. So at zero degrees, I get zero for tangent. Um, if I did, one half over a square root of three over two, that would give me um, square root of three over three. If I took square root of two over two over square root of two over two, that's just one. And if I took square root of three over two uh, over one half, that'd just be square root of three. And if I did one over zero, that's undefined. So the tangent is undefined for that one. Uh, and then it just goes in that same pattern, um, square root of three, like it just re reflects. So like this number is over here and then this one's gonna be a one and so on, so one, and then square root of three over three, and then that one's gonna be um, zero again, and then square root of three over three, and then one, and then square root of three, and then undefined, and then square root of three, and then one, and then square root of three over three again. And then um, here's the other weird thing. For the second quadrant, all the tangents are negative, so negatives here. And same thing with the fourth quadrant, all the tangents are negative, so we just put negatives there. And the reason why that's the case is because all the signs in quadrant uh, four are negative, and all the cosines are positive, so it makes a negative number overall, negative over positive, so negative. All right, so now let's answer these stupid little questions here about the tangents. So this question says, hey, find me the angles that have a tangent equal to negative one. So if I just look on here, that would be, uh, let's see, here's a negative one tangent. So that happens at 135 degrees. And let's see the other place. So another negative one is like right here. 
and that happens at uh, 315 degrees. Dang, a lot of these have 315 degrees as answers, don't they? Somebody must have really liked 300, uh, 315 degrees. All right, next up. So find the angle that has a tangent that's equal to zero. So where did that happen? That happened at, looks like, zero degrees and 180 degrees. <clears throat> Notice that I didn't say, I, I know that this is, you know, does show up on the unit circle, but I did not say uh, 360 degrees. Here's why. Because it doesn't have that little equal sign underneath it. So I'm not going to include 360. So it's just going to be those two. All right, and then the last one, find the angles that have a tangent of square root of 3 over 3. So that would be at, um, let's see, 210 has that right here. And then also uh, it's right over here, square root of 3 over 3, so 30 degrees. So 30 and 210. So theta is equal to 30 degrees and 210 degrees. Okay, so those are my two places where uh, the angle is going to you know, give you that me measurement. Uh, so that's it for this uh, video. 27 through 32, I just used the unit circle, and it looks like the rest of these, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but with radians instead. Um, but I'll save that for another video. All right. See you then. Bye-bye.